Fundamentals, Unit 4, Global Connections, week of May 20th, 2020, Episode 6. Let's take a look at today's outcome. Today, you will describe how weather affects landforms using sentence frames. So let's review what a landform is. We talked about this last week during Episode 5. A landform is a natural feature of Earth's surface. Let's take a look at some examples we saw last week. Do you remember what the name of this landform was? Remember it has a high peak? Great job, this is a mountain. This is naturally found on our Earth's surface. Do you remember what this one was called? Remember, it is in the shape of a V and is found between mountains. What was the name of this V-shaped landform? A valley, great job. Take a look at this landform. Do you remember the name of this landform? It is the water between the mountains in the valley. What is this called? Great job, it's a river. Today we're going to learn some new vocabulary. The first word we're going to learn is weathering. Can you say that with me? Weathering. Great job. The next word we're going to learn about is erosion. Can you say that with me? Erosion. Let's say them again. Weathering. Erosion. Great job. Let's learn about these two new words. Weathering is a natural process that slowly breaks apart or changes rock. Heat, water, wind, living things, and other natural forces can cause weathering. This is a picture of a rock that is seen weathering through the years. Now let's learn a little bit about erosion. Erosion is a process where natural forces like water, wind, ice, and gravity wear away rocks and soil. Erosion occurs at the Earth's surface and has no effect on the Earth's mantle and core. Those are the two innermost layers of our Earth. Here is a picture of erosion. Weathering and erosion are similar, but they are not the same. Let's learn some more about weathering. Remember that weathering from wind, water, and ice help to break down rocks. Below are pictures of different types of weathering. The first one is weathering from wind. You can see how it looks like wind has gone through the canyon to cause these stripes along the rocks. The next one is weathering from water. You'll see that the waves are crashing on the rocks, which is causing the rocks to break from the bottom up. The last picture is caused by ice. You can see that it looks like ice has gone like a river through the rocks, which is causing the rocks to break down and smooth out. Now, let's learn more about erosion. Remember, erosion is when the landforms are carried away or transported by natural forces such as wind or water. Below are pictures of different types of erosion caused by water, ice, and wind. The first picture shows a picture of water erosion. You'll notice that it looks like the water has moved the rock to create streams between the rock. 
The next picture shows an example of erosion caused by ice. If you look at the picture, it looks like the ice has moved the rock to create a path. The last picture shows an example of wind erosion. In this picture, the wind is moving the sand. Weathering and erosion work together to change landforms. But how does weathering and erosion impact landforms? First, we need to talk a little bit about cause and effect. When one event causes another to happen, the cause is why something happens and the effect is what happens. If you look at this little picture, it is cloudy and so the frog needed to get an umbrella when it rained. Let's learn more about cause and effect. What is the cause? An easy way to remember cause is to think about what happened first. And what about effect? An easy way to remember effect is to think about what happened next. The cause is causing something to happen. So the cause has to occur first before the effect can happen. So when we're thinking about weathering and erosion, there is a cause that affects something else to happen. So if you look at this diagram, in the first picture, water collects in rock crack. There's a crack already in the rock and water is beginning to collect there. In picture number two, the water is freezing and when water freezes, it expands and it is forcing the crack to get bigger. In picture number three, the ice begins to melt and now the water is getting deeper into the crack. And finally, in picture number four, the process repeats until the crack finally splits in half. You'll see that because there is a little crack in the rock in picture number one, it caused all of the others to happen and finally the rock broke in half. This is a good example of cause and effect because of weathering. Now let's look at erosion. Remember that erosion is not the same as weathering. Weathering is the process where rock is broken down. Erosion is when the water, wind, or ice moves the sediments. So in the first picture here, you'll see that weathering is causing the rocks to break down into smaller pieces. In the second picture, you'll see that it is raining. The cause in this picture is rain. The effect is that the water or the rain is causing all of these little pebbles that happened with weathering to move down into the ocean. Now, let's learn more about weathering and erosion. Weathering and erosion breaks rock down into smaller pieces and carries the rocks to other places. Because of this, weathering and erosion can change Earth's natural features. Now that you learned a bit more about weathering and erosion, let's look at this question. What does weathering and erosion change? If you remember from the last picture we looked at, we talked about how weathering and erosion breaks rock down into smaller pieces. When it does this, it is changing Earth's natural features. Let's read the sentence together at the bottom. Weathering and erosion changes Earth's natural features. Weathering and erosion can be caused by rain and snow. Rain and snow wash broken rock down into rivers and lakes. When there are big waves like the ocean, it can pound on the rocks and wear away the rocks. 
Again, this changes Earth's natural features. We just talked about two different types of weather that can also cause weathering and erosion. Let's look at this question and see if you remember what those two types of weather are. What washes broken rock down? Do you remember what we talked about on the last one? Great job! It was rain and snow. Rain and snow wash broken rock down into rivers and lakes. Pandas live in the mountains in China, but they are slowly losing their habitat. There are periods of long, heavy rain showers in these mountains. So how can the rain affect their habitat? Remember, you learned a lot today about how weathering and erosion can affect the landforms by breaking away the land in the landforms. So if there are lots of heavy rain in the mountains in China where pandas live, what could happen to their habitat? Talk to a family member about what you think might happen to the habitat because of the heavy rain. The heavy rain could cause the land on the mountain to begin to break away and be moved further down the mountain. This could also cause the bamboo that pandas eat to go down the mountain as well, which would mean that the pandas would need to move to find food. This could be dangerous for them. Let's review our outcome to make sure we covered everything we said we were going to today. Today, we were going to describe how weather affects landforms using sentence frames. We started our lesson by describing different landforms and how weather affects them. And then we use sentence frames to answer questions about weathering and erosion. Great job today.